energy drinks. What is the actual deal with energy drinks and blood sugar levels? We know that energy drinks are increasingly popular, especially lately. I mean, they're becoming very popular worldwide, and we know a lot of people rely on energy drinks to get by through their day. What exactly do they do for your blood sugar levels, and do they pose any potential risk in you potentially developing diabetes in the future if you consume energy drinks on a regular basis? Today, we're going to collect all the data that is available, and we're going to present it and let you know what energy drinks, regular or diet, what do they do for your blood sugar levels exactly, and what are the four things that you want to watch out for if you are drinking energy drinks. Before we get started, this is your host, Dr. Diana Butucci. I'm a board-certified APRN here in the United States. It is my passion to educate and teach all of you worldwide. If you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button. Please share this video with others and always share your thoughts down below. Let's get started and let's talk about energy drinks. Why are energy drinks a potential risk for individuals with diabetes? The number one reason why energy drinks actually pose a risk for those who have diabetes and for those who don't as well is because of their high sugar content. If you're looking at the sugar content label on most of these energy drinks, they tend to have a lot of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is anything in that food or drink that will actually turn into sugar and cause a spike in your blood sugar levels. So if you are looking at a regular energy drink like Red Bull or a Monster drink, you will often see that they have at least 40 grams of carbohydrates. That is pretty much all sugar that will turn into sugar very rapidly and will cause a spike in your blood sugar levels. If you are a diabetic, you will see an instant spike in your blood sugar levels and chronically doing that obviously can have a lot of potential risks for your health and for your diabetes as well. Number two is their high caffeine content. I mean, we know that energy drinks are notoriously known for having a lot of caffeine, which is why people tend to feel a burst of energy and they can get through the day or they can finish a task that they need to finish. However, we know that high levels of caffeine can actually affect insulin sensitivity and can lead to fluctuations in blood sugar levels. We know that consuming a lot of caffeine over time can actually cause insulin resistance. That means that your body is actually resistant to its own insulin. As a result, your body needs to produce more and more insulin trying to achieve the same outcome. Over time, that can lead to a lot of bad things and of course, it can lead to diabetes. The excessive caffeine intake leads to dehydration as it does cause dehydration internally. We know that dehydration alone can actually cause spikes in blood sugar levels. For that reason, we want to make sure that we're limiting the caffeine intake so we're not causing this dehydration internally. Number three is artificial sweeteners. We know that some energy drinks are marketed as sugar-free or diet, but they often contain sweeteners such as aspartame or sucralose. Although they may not affect your blood sugar right away, we know that over time consuming these artificial sweeteners can actually cause insulin sensitivity problems, meaning your body will become more resistant to its own insulin. We have to be very careful at reading nutrition labels. For example, looking at the sugar-free Red Bull, if you're actually looking at the ingredients section, you can see sucralose as one of their ingredients on here. For that reason, although it's sugar-free, it is often misleading because there's other things in this that are not healthy for us and that can actually pose risk down the line. You might drink one energy drink and be fine, but if we're chronically doing the same thing over and over again and we're causing this shift in insulin sensitivity internally over time that can lead to prediabetes, diabetes, or can worsen your diabetes control and you might be surprised as to what is actually going on. I'm not doing anything different. All of a sudden, my diabetes has become out of control and I cannot control it. Well, over time, if we're punching on the same thing over and over again, we know that that is not going to have good consequences. For that reason, you don't want to go too crazy consuming a lot of these artificial sweeteners and you want to eliminate them as much as you can. The fourth reason is other ingredients. We know that energy drinks often contain other ingredients such as taurine, guarana, 
in herbal extracts. We know that these can pose a lot of risk later on and can actually cause issues with your insulin sensitivity again. So we have to be mindful. We're not just looking at the carb content. We have to look at the ingredients section as well. Once again, this free sugar Red Bull actually does contain taurine. So if you are looking in the ingredients section, you will see that noted on there. And obviously over consuming this all the time or on a regular basis will have effects on our health and will cause higher blood sugar levels down the line. So if you are a person that consumes energy drinks on a regular basis, here are the four things that I recommend you should do. Number one is read nutritional labels. You want to make sure you check in the carb count. You want to make sure you look in the ingredients section and you want to see exactly what does that drink have in it and what those ingredients can do for your blood sugar levels. Number two, you want to monitor your blood sugar levels to see what is it doing to your blood sugar levels. Number three, you want to stay hydrated. As I mentioned earlier, caffeine can actually lead to dehydration. For that reason, you want to be very mindful and you want to make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Water still remains the healthiest drink out there. And we still need to perfuse and make sure that those kidneys are working properly, giving them what they need, which is water. So be mindful that if you are drinking an energy drink, you still want to make sure that that is not replacing your water intake. You need to drink plenty of water and make sure that urine looks like a lighter color it should not be dark yellow number four limit your consumption i mean just like with anything else in life we cannot overdo it if you are drinking energy drinks on a regular basis you really should consult with your healthcare provider let them know and so they can monitor your labs they can make sure that things are looking okay and they can monitor your sugar levels as well once again let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you all on the next video